Hello everyone. Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Go ahead, press share, press tag. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. I have a word from the Lord. Um, I was I was actually getting ready to go to church. I went to church with a friend today. And long story short, I was looking outside and I'm looking outside and, and I'm looking at the leaf, the tree fall off the leaves. And the Lord spoke to me just as plain as day. He said, you notice that winter is gone. So we didn't even have a winter. Let's be honest. We didn't have a winter. And he says, but, but the tree, it was so funny because I'm looking at the tree. I'm looking at the tree right now, as a matter of fact. And the leaves were just falling, but it was the way they were falling. It looked a peculiar. And he says, it's fall. He says, but hold on. It's a metaphor. He said, because in this season, he says, a lot of people, a lot of things are going to fall from your lives. He said, but you can't get mad. You can't get sad. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said, in fact, get glad. Let me tell you something, church. or uh, Not even just church people. People. Come on, somebody. I'm talking to everybody in the whole wide world. Hallelujah. There are times that God is going to call you up higher. And some people say, well, I don't have no calling. Everybody got a calling. Everybody got a destiny. Everybody got something that they must do for the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Whether you answer the calling, that is the question. That will always be the question, my brother, my dear sister. So what I'm saying is that there are times like Abraham. When Abraham was leaving, God says, I need you to pack up and get from among your family. I need, I, 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 I'm taking you somewhere, Abraham. Abraham was supposed to not not, he wasn't supposed to take anybody. Come on, somebody. But Lot followed him. Look what happened. If we, have we, if we go back in history, if we go back to that moment and he had not taken Lot, would Sodom and Gomorrah would have burned up? Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. Hallelujah. This afternoon, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Would Sodom and Gomorrah still be standing? Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Let me tell you something. Abraham had a lot to do with what happened and Lot had a lot to do with what happened because they were both disobedient to the Lord. Y'all ain't ready for me. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready. Let me tell you something. There's a time in your life where you have to be obedient or everybody gets it. Oh, come on, somebody. This is not just about you. I know you thought it was just about you, but it's not just about you. It's about everything and everybody connected to you. That's why obedience is better than sacrifice because if you don't obey God, everybody loses. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Just ask when you obey God, everybody wins. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Have you ever asked yourself that question? If I had been obedient, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? In this season, there are things that must fall. It might be a job. It might be a marriage. It might be a son. It might be a daughter. Now listen to what I'm saying. Falling does not mean it will never be in your life again. But ever, but however, in this season, you may not be able to take it. You may not be able to be attached to that thing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It could be whatever. It could be whomever. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. A lot of people, let me tell you something. And I had, I had to realize this in my tenure of what is, is going on, 23 years in ministry. <laughs> I ain't laughing. I'm kind of, it's almost like a sigh. There are so many people I met. Oh my God. I've been, I'm not going to say all over the world, but I've been a lot of places, you know, and I have been abroad. And I will tell you this. I've met some powerful people that will never go where God want them to go. And I saw it. And, and I'll be honest with you. I think one of the things I had to learn, I had to let go. Because, uh, come on, come on. You, you got it. You got it. I can try to tell you you got it all day long, but if you don't believe you have it, there's nothing I could do. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. There are times when you see people with potential. There are times when you see people with the anointing. There are times you see people with calling. Honey, you can't do nothing for them if they don't do it for themselves. You don't hear what I'm saying. We all must answer the call ourselves. You don't hear what I'm saying this morning. There are times when all you can do is just look and pray. Watch and pray. And I truly believe that that's what Abraham was supposed to do in that season and not take Lot. Because God had something just for him. So Lot, look what happened. He went through a lot for going with Abraham. So it's not just about you. It's about that person knowing they should be praying too. You see a lot of church folk, a lot of people. Let me tell you what y'all do. I heard from the Lord. But both people don't pray on it. Only one. I think every time we say, thus said the Lord, I hear a word from God or God told me this. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's me. Okay, I, I respect that. God bless you. I'm going to God now. Now I got to go to God and, and get confirmation because I'm not moving without God. So many people move without that confirmation. So many move without revelation. Because let me tell you something how this works. 
after confirmation, I promise you there will be revelation. God is always going to confirm his word. And then there's going to be a revelation to where, okay, I got confirmation. Now, how do I do it? That's how, that's the revelation. He'll show you how to do it. He'll send somebody. He'll send something. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, it hurts my heart. A lot of people do not know how God operates. We know of God. We love God. We know the Bible. We know the word. Come on, somebody. We know the songs. But a lot of people don't know how God operates. God is not like man. Man got to see it to believe it. Man got to have some kind of, uh, let, let me see them figures. Let me see the numbers. Let me see this. God, God say, can you just trust me? Oh, come on, somebody. I'm talking to some of you right now. Can you just trust him when you don't know? Can you trust him when you can't see? Can you trust him when you when you don't even have anything to work with? God, God, what are you saying? I don't, I don't see how I'm going to do this. You you don't see it, but he does. Let me tell you something. There's a dimensional shift right now in this hour and you can't miss it. It's like, I'm telling you, we're like in the tabernacle days where you have to listen to God. And when God say, go, you got to go. You, you, you don't supposed to get ready. You're supposed to be ready. I, I, you know, and I keep bringing it up not to glorify myself and not maybe look like no super Christian. I've been talking about fasting a lot. I hope y'all getting it. I don't know when I'm going to stop. I don't feel like I should stop. It's something he's doing. I, I can't even tell you the whole matter of the thing, but I feel it. I say, God, what are you doing? He's not even telling me. He said, you don't need to know all that. You just be ready. You just be ready. Well, I'm getting ready to take you. You just be ready mentally, physically, spiritually. I got you all the rest. Because in these, in this city, I got much people. You don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all trying to figure it out. And God said, I already got it worked out. All you need to do is be obedient. All you need to do is be ready. All you need to do is be willing. Hallelujah. I just said something to somebody. But y'all still tripped up on the first part, and that is what must fall away. Some of you are going to have to leave some relationships. You know God didn't call that person to come on somebody. You can love them. They can be fine as wine. If that is not your per ordained partner, let, let me let clar paraphrase that, phrase that and uh, clarify that. If that's not your ordained husband or spouse, if you truly have a knowing God, it's not going to let that happen. You're talking to somebody that know. I don't care how much y'all love each other. If you truly have a calling, because guess what? It's not just about you. You don't hear what I'm saying. Some people waiting on you. So God cannot let it happen. So in this season, you got to be strong. You got to be strong in your heart. You got to be strong in your mind. You got to be strong in your body because everybody can't go with you. And you might like them and it doesn't mean that they're bad people. Come on, somebody. Because the first thing when people part even ways as husband and wife or even friendship or even as family, oh, somebody did something. Maybe nobody did nothing. Maybe that's just God. Maybe that's God working on both our behalf. Maybe that's God saying, guess what? I got you to go this way. I got you to go that way. East, west, north, south. Because Guess I got things for y'all to do in this time, in this season. Hallelujah to his name. Just be obedient. Just be obedient. That's what I hear in this hour. Just be obedient. Don't worry about how. Don't worry about when. Don't worry about why. Just be obedient and let it fall. I hear God say, let it fall. I'm pruning you. I'm pruning you. I'm pruning you. That's why things look hard. That's why things seem hard. I'm pruning you. It got to go. It got to fall. Because where I'm taking you, I, I, I need you to be ready. I need you to be steady. I, I need you in this hour, God says. Hallelujah to his name. So I pray that you'll be obedient in this season like never before. Is it easy? Heck no. Is it going to be easy? Heck no. I promise you it's not. But remember... You, you, you got to do this thing in the spirit. You can't do it in the flesh now. A lot of y'all be trying to do it in the flesh. You're going to wear yourself out. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to get tired. You're going to get out of character. God help me. God, I don't know how to do this. But I hold on to you when I don't understand. I hold on to you when, when I'm frustrated. I hold on to you when... when, when uh, that's how you say it. That's how you tell him. But I'm going to hold on God. And he'll help you. He'll meet you right where you at. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Stay strong in the Lord. You can't do this by yourself. So stay strong in your in your father. All right. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers for that is who you are. Ah, let's get it.